Hello and welcome back to my little channel. Uh, my name's Dr. James Gill and you've joined me for another well, bedtime story for my nephew Harrison. In the um, first of these videos, um, we introduce you to this tome of punch published in 1924. And this contains the very first ever um, writings, if you will, are by A. A. Milne, uh, involving a bear that would eventually become known to the world as Winnie the Pooh. Now, at the end of uh, the previous night's stories, if you will, we finally encountered our bear called um, Edward Bear in these um, original stories. So, the first one we have tonight features another well-known character, Christopher Robin, in his very first ever outing. When We Were Very Young, by A. A. Milne, published 20th of February, 1924. Buckingham Palace. They're changing the guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. Alice is marrying one of the guard. A soldier's life is terribly hard, says Alice. They're changing the guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. We saw a guard in a sentry box. One of the sergeants looks after their socks, says Alice. They're changing the guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. We looked for the king, but he never came. Well, God take care of him all the same, says Alice. They're changing the guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. They've great big parties inside the grounds. I wouldn't be a king for a hundred pounds, says Alice. They're changing the guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. A face looked out, but it wasn't the king's. He's much too busy assigning things, says Alice. They're changing the guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. Do you think the king knows all about me? To be dear, sure to be dear, but it's time for tea, says Alice. And then we've got another one beneath it, at the zoo, also by A. A. Mel. There are lions and roaring tigers and enormous camels and things. There are buffalo, buffalo, bisons and a great big bear with wings. There's a sort of tiny potamus and a tiny noceros too, but I gave buns to the elephant when I went down to the zoo. There are badgers and bidgers and bodgers and superintendent's house. There are masses of goats and a polar and different kinds of mouse. And I think there's a sort of something which is called a wallabaloo, but I gave buns to the elephant when I went down to the zoo. If you try to talk to the bison, he never quite understands. You can't shake hands with a mingo, he doesn't like shaking your hands. And lions or roaring tigers hate saying how do you do. But I gave buns to the elephant when I go down to the zoo. Now, I smile reading that because I know that um, Harrison is due to go to the zoo in a few weeks. So there's something quite uh, pleasing to that symmetry in my mind. Okay. Um, when We Were Young, Nursery Chairs, published February 27th, 1924, by A. A. Milne. First chair. When I go up the Amazon, I stop at night and fire a gun to call my faithful band and Indians in twos and threes, come silently between the trees and wait for me to land. And if I don't want to play with any Indians today, I simply wave my hand and they turn and go away. They always understand. So we've got a very short doubling here. If I were king, I often wish I were a king, and then I could do anything. If only I were king of Spain, I'd take my hat off in the rain. If only I were king of France, I wouldn't brush my hair for aunts. If I, I think if I were king of Greece, I'd push things off the mantelpiece. If I were king of Norway, I'd ask an elephant to stay. If I were king of Babylon, I think I'd leave my gloves undone. If I were king of Timbuktu, I'd think of lovely things to do. If I were king of anything, I'd tell the soldiers I am the king. And then we've got the second one, halfway down. Halfway down the stairs is a stair where I sit. There isn't any other stair quite like it. 
I'm not at the bottom, I'm not at the top. So this is the stair where I always stop. Halfway down the stairs, isn't up and isn't down. It isn't in the nursery, it isn't in the town. And all sorts of funny thoughts run around my head. It isn't really anywhere, so it's somewhere else instead. By A. A. Milne. Now this is a, an interesting one. I'm sure that everybody's, when they've been little, walked down the street, you know, either avoiding squares or um, stepping on uh, cracks to avoid breaking their back, as it were. So when we were young, lines and squares by A. A. Milne, twelfth of March, nineteen twenty-four. Whenever I walk in a London street, I'm ever so careful to watch my feet, and I keep to the squares and the big brown bears who wait at the corners all ready to eat. The sillies who tread on the lines of the street go back to their lairs, and I say to them, bears, just look how I'm walking in all the squares. And the little bears growl to each other, he's mine, as soon as he's silly and steps on a line. And some of the bigger bears try to pretend that they came round the corner to look for a friend. And they try to pretend that nobody cares whether you walk on lines or squares. But only the sillies believe their talk it's ever so important how you walk, and it's ever so jolly to call out, Bears! Just watch me walking on all of the squares. Okay. So we've got another double here. Um, Spring Morning by A. A. Milne, published March 26th, 1924. Spring Morning. Where am I going? I don't quite know down to the stream where the kingups grow, up to the hill where the pine trees blow, anywhere, anywhere, I don't know. Where am I going? The clouds sail by, little ones, baby ones, over the sky. Where am I going? The shadows pass, little ones, baby ones, over the grass. If you were a cloud and sailed up there, you'd sail on water as blue as air, and you'd see me here in the fields and say, doesn't the sky look green today? Where am I going? The high rooks call. It's awful fun to be born at all. Where am I going? The ring doves coo. We do have beautiful things to do. If you were a bird and lived on high, you'd lean on the wind when the wind came by. You'd say to the wind when it took you away, that's where I wanted to go today. Where am I going? I don't quite know. What does it matter where people go? Down to the wood where the bluebells grow. Anywhere, anywhere, I don't know. And then the next one is growing up. I've got shoes with grown-up laces. I've got knickers and a pair of braces. I'm ready to run some races. Who's coming out with me? I've got a nice new pair of braces. I've got new shoes with new brown laces. I know wonderful paddly places. Who's coming out with me? Every morning, my new grace is... Thank you, God, for my nice braces. I can tie grown-up laces. Who's coming out with me? By A. A. Milne. Okay, we've got a, so we've got another big one here with all the uh, illustrations by um, E. H. Shepherd. So, when we were very young. Market Square by A. A. Milne, published March 26th, 1924. Market Square. I had a penny, a bright new penny. I took my penny to the Market Square. I wanted a rabbit, a little brown rabbit, and I looked for a rabbit most everywhere. For I went to the store where they stole sweet lavender, only a penny for a bunch of lavender. Have you got a rabbit? Because I don't want lavender. But they hadn't got any rabbit. Not anywhere there. I had a penny, and I had another penny. I took my pennies to the market square. I did want a rabbit, a little baby rabbit, and I looked for the rabbits most everywhere. And I went to the stall where they sold fresh mackerel. Now then, tuppets for fresh caught mackerel. Have you got a rabbit? Because I don't like mackerel. But they hadn't got a rabbit, not anywhere there. I found a sixpence. A little white sixpence. 
I took it in my hand to the market square. I was buying my rabbits. I do like a rabbit. I look for my rabbit most everywhere. So I went to the store where they sold fine saucepans. Walk up, walk up, sixpence for a saucepan. Could I have a rabbit? Because I've got two saucepans. But they hadn't got a rabbit, not anywhere there. I had nothing. No, I hadn't got nothing. And I took my nothing from the market square. And I walked on the common, the old gold common, and I saw little rabbits most everywhere. So I'm sorry for the people who sell fine saucepans. I'm sorry for the people who sell fresh mackerel. I'm sorry for the people who sell sweet lavender, because they haven't got any rabbit, not anywhere there. And you can sort of see how, you know, his characters, they sort of had a genesis earlier on in his writings. So we've seen Edward Bear, we've seen uh, Christopher Robin, there's Rabbit. So the, the next one, Sand Between the Toes, uh, by A. A. Milne, on, published April, 12th, April 2nd, 1924. I went down to the shouting sea, taking Christopher down with me, for nurse had given us sixpence each, and down we went to the beach. We had sand in the eyes and ears and the nose, and sand in the hair and sand between the toes. Whenever a good no-wester blows, Christopher Robin is certain of sand between the toes. The sea was galloping grey and white. Christopher clutched his sixpence tight. We clambered over the humping sand, and Christopher held my hand. We had sand in the eyes and ears and the nose, and sand in the hair and sand between the toes. Whenever a good no-wester blows, Christopher Robin of certain of sand between the toes. There was a roaring in the sky, and the seagulls cried as they blew by. We tried to talk, but had to shout. Nobody else was out. When we got home, we had sand in the hair, in the eyes and ears and everywhere. Whenever a gaunt nor'wester blows, Christopher Robin is found with sand between the toes. And then we've got another one underneath it. Independence. I never did, I never did, I never did like, now take care, dear. I never did, I never did, I never did want, hold my hand. I never did, I never did, I never did think much of not up there, dear. It's no good saying it, they don't understand. It's one of the things I find about poetry, it's sometimes it's very strange, particularly if it's supposed to be aimed at children, but still. Right, we'll say goodnight with that one and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.